Hello. Being a physics major can be pretty difficult, and uh, taking 18 credits in any major can also be a little bit time-consuming and cause a little bit of uh, a hassle. And I've run into people, mainly my physics professor and academic advisor, that say, Alex, you should not be taking 18 credits. Uh, also, there's a lot of people that are like, oh yeah, I'm taking 14 credits this semester, I took 12 last semester, and taking that extra class has really added a level of difficulty. Um, well, since I am taking 18 credits and I'm in a fairly challenging major, I decided to, you know, sit down, do a little math, and um, decide, is there really enough hours in each week to take 18 credits of really any major? So... Given that there's a total of 168 hours in each week, that seems like a lot of time to get a lot of things done each week. So in all my classes, I spend about 16 hours a week sitting in class. And uh, the given rule is a, you're spend, supposed to spend about two hours per week per each credit, like for each class, um, if that makes sense. So like my Calc 2 class is five credits. And Dr. Chen always says, you should be spending 10 hours a week working on homework for this class because it's a five credit course. So um, 18 times 2, that's about 36. So that's 36 hours a week I should be spending on homework. Um, you know, that's a decent amount of time. Do I spend 36 hours every week working on homework? Um, no. But with finals coming up, um, it's definitely approaching that number, if not maybe more. Well, Alex, that's a lot of time. You know, that's 52 hours a week total. Um, but I can't do that, you know. Haha, <laughs> I'm not rich or famous, and my parents don't have money. I need to uh, work to support myself. Well, okay. Um, I understand, you know. I'm not rich, and uh, I also work. I actually have two jobs right now. The first job is science outreach, which is an on-campus job, which is really nice. Uh, means I don't have to drive to work, and uh, I can kind of fit it in between classes or in the morning before I have most of my classes. I actually spend two to ten hours a week working for science outreach, um, so you know that's not bad. Um, but you know that's a limited income. So I also work on the weekends at a different job. I work for Firestone as an auto tech, and I'm scheduled. 8 hours on Sunday and 8 hours on Saturday, so 16 hours a week um, for Firestone work, which, you know, with those two combined is, you know, a little bit of money, so it's enough to get me by for anything really I could need during the week. I'm also part of a clinical trial for a company, so that takes about 6 hours a week uh, of my day just testing this thing that they have. It's kind of boring, but um, it's science and I enjoy it. You know, 52 hours a week just for class and homework, plus uh, my work, so that's 72 to 80 hours a week total I'm using, plus, you know, another six for this clinical trial, or insert anything else you may do that requires time. Like, I also am part of intramural sports, so depending on which sport, I may, um, you know, have one or a few hours per week doing the sport, plus, plus practice. Um, but still, that's less than 100 hours a week, you know. Um, so if you took, you know, let's just take 90 and uh, subtract that from 160, and you get about 78 hours a week um, free time you still have left. So, you know, that's about, what, you know, almost 11 hours a day, about 11 hours a day for you to do things like sleep and eat or whatever else you may need to do to survive. But still, um, you know, 11 hours a day for free time, that's, that's a good amount. Of course, working with, you know, this full of a schedule doesn't leave me any off days to kind of, you know, recuperate and uh, relax, but it's really the best way, I think, to get a lot done in a short amount of time. I think Elon Musk says if you work 100 hour weeks, and your competition only works 40 hour weeks, uh, you will accomplish in four months what it takes them a year to do. Right. I mean, if, 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 if other people are putting in 40 hour work weeks and you're putting in 100 hour work weeks, then even if uh, you're doing the same thing, you know that in, in one year you will achieve what they achieve, you, you will achieve in four months what it takes them 
a year to achieve. And that's really kind of my motivation for all of this is, you know, if someone else can do it, why can't I? Or why wouldn't I, you know? Is it stressful? In a word, very much so. But is also, is it rewarding? So far, no. But I know in the future it will be, so um, at least I have that going for me. Will taking 18 credits um, affect your GPA? Um, the answer is maybe, if you're a little careless with your schedule, like if you don't keep a really good like calendar or planner or something. Um, definitely, I know there's been a few um, like assignments I've missed because they had a weird due date or the due date was moved or something and I um, didn't check my email and notice that the due date was moved because I was busy working on other things or maybe I got you know a due date mixed up with something or something came up and I wasn't able to finish my homework in the allotted time slot that I had scheduled for um, completing homework um, so that can be kind of unfortunate but I really think the solution to that is taking time out of sleep and maybe trying to catch up on sleep um, some other day or, you know, over break after the semester. You know, this has been something I've done in the past where I'm sure any college student has put something off to the last minute and had to stay up till 4.30 in the morning, you know, writing their English exam or, you know, something along those lines. But really it comes down to taking the time each day that you allot for homework to do nothing but homework. And that's kind of um, what I've been falling short of, I think, sometimes, is maybe I'll just sit in a chair and stare at the wall for an hour after a couple hours of lecture instead of working on the homework for that class. And that's an hour I can't get back. You know, there's so many hours I can take out of my sleep schedule without just falling asleep. Or there are so many meals I can miss without, you know, being so hungry that I can no longer concentrate on anything else. And um, so that's something I have to take into consideration is, you know, the constraints of uh, my consciousness being in a, in a human body. I've really yet to come up with a schedule that perfectly meshes um, all my classes and their homework and work and sleeping, but I feel like over break um, I may be able to reflect on some of my failures and successes of this semester and better plan for next semester, which I am also taking 18 credits. Um, thanks for watching this video. If you have any uh, tips, please comment them below in the section labeled comments. Otherwise, if you were considering taking 18 credits or looking into physics, um, I hope this video has helped you and given you some insight into what a semester might look like, and thanks for watching.